She wasn't one of those earthy, natural types either, you know what I mean? I mean, her beauty came from loads and loads of makeup. <laughs> so anyway, P.S., I find out she's married, just out for a cheap thrill. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there, right? Why didn't you just push her in the mud? Well, don't you think I tried that? You're so cool. So, are you newsboys ready? Yeah, uh, broccoli, all around. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a powdery jelly donut. Why don't you just take a handful of lard, roll it in some ground glass, and dip it in a cup of Drano, because that's exactly what you're doing to your arteries. He'll have a bran muffin. Oh, a chocolate milk. Look, let me save you the money. Why don't you just go out to your daddy's car, open up the hood, pull out the battery, hold it over your head and chug a lug, because that's exactly what you're doing to your body. Make it two brand muffins. Kids, you're never too young to start taking care of your health. I'll have a double-decker sundae with chocolate syrup. That actually sounds pretty good. I think I'll have one of those, too. <laughs> hey, Eddie, my dad and I are going to waste you and your dad next Saturday. You're going down, Otto. My dad and I will tear out your guts. And scramble them like eggs. Hey, hold it. You know I don't like that kind of talk. Eggs. Incredibly high in cholesterol. Yes, I'm talking about the competition. On Saturday? Competition? The newspaper boy semi-annual Father and Sunday. Oh, yeah, the old Father and Sunday. Yeah, my dad and I used to enter that all the time. Are you entering this year? <laughs> I think that would be a little unfair competition. Kind of like uh, Meryl Streep showing up at Star Search. What he's trying to say is he's too old. Yeah. No, Otto, what I'm trying to say is I got better things to do, okay? Adult things, like uh, playing with matches <laughs> and uh, eating candy from strangers. Yeah, that's right, strangers, who, by the way, have the best candy. But I guess you wouldn't know that, would you? Here's your food, dough boys. Hey, um, Billy, can I borrow all a buck? Did you just call me a chicken? I need a buck. Buck. As in buck buck, as in chicken clucking noises, right? Go ahead, deny it. I wasn't calling anybody a chicken, but maybe you are. Uh-huh. I see what's going on here. I can read your silent little stares. <laughs> My status as your godlike role model is in danger, isn't it? You're all just daring me to enter that contest. Go ahead and enter. My dad and I will wipe the floor with you anyway. We win every year. Oh, is that so, Mr. Russian hockey team? Well, all right, you just threw down the gauntlet. From here on in, I'm in training. I'm going to go home, I'm going to pull out the Nautilus, I'm going to slather myself up with Ben Gay, I'm going to put on the Keds and run maybe 12 miles. Can I get a little more chocolate sauce on this? And by Saturday, I'm going to be looking like Buster Crab. Isn't he dead? I look like him before he died. Wasn't he, like, 90 years old? How do you even know who Buster Crab is? You're 10 years old and you know who Buster Crab is? That's sick. <laughs> It's Buchanan. No. It's Carter. No. Uh, it's Jefferson. <laughs> Took you long enough. Well, it's hard to see through all this damn syrup. Oh. <laughs> the breakfast has become so much more interesting since we got these presidential commemorative plates. I knew we'd enjoy them, but never to this extent. <laughs> Gladys, was Jefferson assassinated? No, of course not. Uh, I guess it's a chip in the plate. <laughs> Hey, Dad, look what I found while I was rummaging through the attic. It's your old potato sack. Oh, look, Fred, it's your old racing sack from the newspaper boy, Father and Son Games. Gladys, I thought we had the attic sealed up during our exorcist panic. <laughs> Dad, remember? This is the one we lost the trophy with in 65. And then we came back to lose again in 66. And then we really pulled it together in 68 when you ruptured a disc. <laughs> Why does that bring back memories? Yeah, like being humiliated and spit on. <laughs> Dad, do you ever miss it? I mean, the thrill of competition, the 
wind in your hair as you <laughs> hop down the field, eating the dust of your betters. And remember, you were both quite pitiful in the egg races, too. <laughs> That's right. You ever think about maybe, I don't know, reliving those glorious failures of yesteryear? No. Never. That's what I thought. And that's why I've signed us both up for the newspaper boy Father and Son Day. Oh, Fred. Are you out of your mind? I would never, repeat, never put myself through that living hell again. Dad, come on. That was back then. You know, you weren't really in the best of shape back then. I mean, now you're in your mid to late 60s. You're 50 to 20 pounds heavier. Your cholesterol's up. And you've got those really tough, hard arteries. You're an animal now, Dad. I think it's a wonderful idea, Fred. And I think it would be nice if you two did something together for a change. What? Gladys, it's not like that Cats in the Cradle song. He's lived here for 30 years. Boy, you really know what buttons to push, Dad. I don't want you two drifting apart. Remember what happened to that boy up the street? His father didn't spend enough time with him, so he hitchhiked across the country, leaving a trail of bodies in his way. Well, at least it got him out of the house. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Well, okay. I guess I'm just going to have to make the old face. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think if you remember, I got my first set of Hot Wheels thanks to the face. I got the uh, mod hair G.I. Joe, thanks to the face. And, uh, well, something the two of you probably don't know, um, thanks to the face, I lost my virginity. <laughs> you can't do the face anymore. You haven't got the chops. It used to be cute, but now it's pathetic. Come on, Dad, you know you're going to crack like a cheap suit. Yeah, right. All right, you asked for it. Here I go. <clears throat> <laughs> Cute. It's like having our little Chris back. I'm not looking. <laughs> oh, it's so ugly. It's it's worse than I remember. But at least you can't keep it up forever. Oh yeah. Watch me. Mother. Good morning, Father. <laughs> All right. It's been three days. You win. Enough. I give up. If it's so important to you, I'll do it. Oh, Dad, thanks. Thanks, Dad. You're not going to regret this. We're going to have a ball. Chris, I said I'd do it. You can drop the face now. I actually dropped it two days ago. It's frozen like this. <laughs> I'm pumping enough adrenaline to light up Vegas. We are going to be the hits of Father and Sunday. I think we have the advantage if they let us use our own spoons. <laughs>
You know, Dad, I know it looks pretty bad, but it's really just fun and games. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hi. Hi. So you guys are signing up? Mm-hmm. You need helmets? Padding? And you're gonna need to sign his release form in case you get paralyzed. <laughs> For your comfort, peace of mind, you'll notice we got a lot more ambulances here than last year. So we're gonna run out of oxygen again. I don't particularly order like that. That's it, I'm a dot. Come on, Dad. You're much, much more than that. Come on, let's give it a chance, huh? Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you all to the father and son gladiator battle. I see some familiar faces out there. It's good to have you back in ambulatory. You know, in recent years, the trend has been away from competition and a win-at-all-cost mentality. But not here. Here, there's only going to be one winning team. And the rest of you are, well, losers. And who would you rather be on a plane with? I don't mind choice. Okay, they're nuts. Look, Dad, so it's not a complete loss. I'll race you to the car. So, you actually have the guts to show up. Yeah, yeah, we're here, but... Uh... Yeah, I don't think we're going to stay. It doesn't look uh, challenging enough for us. Uh, we'd be bored. It's pretty much just baby games here. Steve, I told you they'd wuss out. Didn't I, Dad? Call me Rick. Three-time father-son gladiator battle champion. Part-time welder. How you doing? <laughs> Where's your kid? Uh, I don't have any children. I'm barren. Wait a minute. You mean you're going to compete in this thing with Granny here? What did you just call my dear papa? Oh, Chris, it doesn't matter. Papa, granny. No, no, you wait a second. Yes, we're going to compete. And let me tell you something. We're going to win. And we're going to win for one reason and one reason only. And guess what? I'm not going to tell you that reason. See, that's all part of our little strategy here. And you're already psyched out. Well, now, if you'll excuse us, my dad and I are going to go do some warm-up squats. <laughs> Come on, Otto. It's going to be fun kicking the crap out of those guys. I love you, Dad. You know, Chris, at first, I didn't want to do this because I was afraid of being humiliated, but now I don't want to do it because I'm afraid I'll die. Come on, Dad, we can't back out now. All the newspaper boys are here. Our family name and honor is at stake. Why don't we just dress up as women and sneak off like our ancestors did on the Titanic? <laughs> Nah, come on, Dad. Let's be men for once in our lives, shall we? Come on. <laughs> now, before we start the first event, as usual, I'd like to remind everyone to play safely and fairly. And as usual, I expect you all to ignore that. That's why we have Dr. Kramer here. Come on up here, Doc. Well, I'd just like to say that I hope no one dies. <laughs> Probably someone will. Just a statistical reality with a gathering this large. Okay, the first event is called Having to Stay on These Pedestals as Long as You Can Without Getting Knocked Off. First teams are in place. Ready? Challengers are Brad and Chris, the Peterson. We don't stand a chance against those he-men. Dad, don't worry. The brain is more powerful than the body. We'll defeat him with our minds. I wish I were dead. Watch this. Time, time, Mr. Referee. Excuse me. Uh, I know that man up there, and he's not a father. He's only a stepfather. Oh. Get them out of my sight. Oh my, I guess it's a default. <laughs> okay, the replacement team is Rick and Otto, the Walters. <laughs> Time, Mr. Referee. 
All right, Dad, look, just concentrate, okay? We're going to win this one. Just imagine you're a brick wall rooted 100 feet in the ground. Don't let anything take your mind off that. Just think brick wall, brick wall. You're... Hey, look, there's Mom. Wave, Dad, it's Mom. Hi. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. It's kind of like playing badminton, huh? What jerks. Now it's payback time. You know, I'm actually starting to get good at this falling thing. Just let your face catch the brunt of it, Dad. It's nature's shock absorber. Hey, Peterson, the strategy seems to be working. We're getting more psyched out by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're such idiots. They don't realize my head's ringing so loudly. I can't hear a word they're saying. <laughs> Is that my tooth or yours? As this one takes a little testosterone, it's one I like to call trying to stay on the beam while medicine balls are being thrown at you without getting knocked up. You know, Dad, this one isn't very much different than the spoons thing, with the exception of the possibility of snapping our spinal cords. <laughs> starting to lose my patience. I would like a hamburger and a special cheese shake, some chocolate sauce, I bless you, and thank you for shopping McDonald's. Yes. Yes. I don't want you coherent when I tell you off. Oh, Dad. Hi. Did we win? See, guys, I told you Chris was nothing special. No, Chris. Say it isn't true. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. We're just saving our strength. Right, Dad? Right, for the ride home. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Great, we're going home, huh? No, Dad, we have two more events. We're doing so well. Oh, forget it, Chris. Dad, those are the people I work with. Now, I need their respect. For that, you can't go to lousy events. I can go to events, but your mother's worried sick. <laughs> oh, let's get it the hell over with. Great. Listen, this one's really easy. All you have to do is hoist me up on your shoulders and then run as fast as you can for 250 yards. That's a snap. Okay. <laughs> Stop us now! Nice form, losers. Dad. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. Dad, I shouldn't have put you through this. Oh, we can't compete with them anymore. But you know what? That's okay. We had our time. I mean, we failed back then, too. But it was our time. And they can't take those memories away from us. And you know what? Maybe we can distort those memories enough and one day believe that we were actually winners. Do you know what I'm trying to say, Dad? I want to quit. I want to go home. Well, you pansy face wuss girl. <laughs> I'm sorry? I can't believe you want to quit after all we've been through. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of being pushed around by those pathetic weasels over there. <laughs> You can sit here on your candy bottom and crochet a little doll's house to play in, but I'm going to go rack me up a body count. Let me get this straight, Dad. You want me to stay here while you go get the car? Out of my way, boy. It's clobbering time. <laughs> You're the disease, I'm the medicine. Get me I hate I'm a hunk. Is that the best you got, dirt bags? What are you looking at, smiling? Here's one for you, lady. I heard that. It's not his fault. 
He's going through the change. It's male menopause. He just had a hot flash for crying out loud. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. We'll stick by you no matter what. And we'll come and visit you. Unless it's one of those maximum security things, because, frankly, I find those rather depressing. Let me through. Hold it down. Let me have your attention. While the paramedics gather up the scattered remains of those weak-kneed losers, let me take an opportunity to present this trophy to Fred and Chris Peterson, the father and son team who have most captured the spirit of these games, winning at all costs. I seen such a blatant disregard for rules and other people's safety. It's gonna be a tough record to beat next year. Wow, Dad. We won something. We actually won something. And look at Mom. I've never seen her look happier. No, we're winners. No thanks to you, Pansy. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Gee, Chris, congratulations. I guess I was wrong. You really are someone to look up to. A uh, duh. <laughs> you taught us lessons about yourself and about old people, how they should be respected and uh, even feared. <laughs> but most importantly, that they were valued society. Oh, that's sweet. Would your little friends like some chicken, Chris? Who's the old hag? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We really did learn a meaningful lesson today. All right, you little twerps. Get out of here. I'll see you bright and early Monday. Boy, Dad, you really made me proud that you're my father today. Yeah, that was great. I, I just wish they hadn't stopped me before I could pulverize those wimps in the second row. <laughs> Boy, what a great day to be a Peterson. Oh. <laughs> You know, I want to thank you, Dad, but I'm not sure I know how. Well, wait a second. I think I know how. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when. But we'll get together then. Dad, we're gonna have a good time with... Woohoo! Just four more days till the season premiere of The Simpsons. I can't wait. Later tonight, Howie Mandel stars in a new Fox comedy, Good Grief. Now stay tuned for Married with Children next. <laughs>